What's up guys, it's Tia, welcome back to my channel, it's Love Island Review episode 30. Wow, we've come so far, we really have. Um, let's get straight into it. Jack's trying to hug Paige both mornings is a bit weird. Um, you can tell he loves a challenge though, is that all she is to him, a challenge? And when she becomes easy, he doesn't want her, is that what we're seeing here? Um, he should let he should let it settle a bit. Um, she will forgive you, unfortunately. Um, I don't think she should. He's shown his true colours, and that's how he is gonna be on the outside. Um, Tasha giving Andrew's ring back. <laughs> um, yeah, that was just weird because she knows she still wants to play him as well as um Billy. Um, I don't know why she got she gave it to Luca and got him involved. It was just a bit weird when she was going to be sitting down with Andrew later and smiling at his face like it was it was weird it was weird behaviors um Dami and India Dami finally said sorry for his dickhead behavior um yeah he should have done that already uh, but he is a smooth talker so I could see why India would forgive him to be honest um Dami regrets his decision um I knew he was going to come crawling back which he did but to be honest, she does need to have a level of respect for herself because as soon as she wasn't there for two days, Dami's doing all couple things with another girl. So she needs to keep that in mind. Um, and hopefully they can build the trust again, but I don't think the trust is there. Um, admitting he wants India, that's a good start. It's a good start to mend in their relationship. Um, but wow. Wow, these boys, why did they bring back the Castle Motels? What all of them have been friend zoned. <laughs> all of them are there on Friend Island. They have no other options until someone else comes in. Why did they even bring them girls in? They literally brought them in to waste their time. They're all there having a sad party on the bed because they all got dumped. And it's like, why did you guys even bring them into the main villa in the first place um clearly they're not doing their grafting right um i thought they were gonna bring a lot of heat when they came in with them i thought that was gonna continue after castle ended but it didn't it literally died down and yeah they'll be going soon unless someone else comes in um andrew and tasha they're just so boring now um andrew's just forgetting everything that the Castle of More Girls said to him that made him act stupid in the first place. Um, he's clearly still in love with her and head over heels for her. And she is now paying him off. Um, which, I don't know. To be honest, she's saying she's going to pay him off. But I don't think she is going to pay him off. Um, she didn't have the guts to do it in the beginning. I don't think she's going to do it now. Um, I think she's just playing him, to be honest. I feel like with these Love Island players, I think they have it in their mind what they need to do to win. So I think they definitely want to get to the final sort of thing. Um, but to be honest, she now has a valid excuse after all that Andrew's been up to in Casa Amor. She now has a valid excuse to drop him and she's still toying with him. I really don't know why. Um, Deji calling it something stupid was about to happen. <laughs> Deji the preacher, it's like he knew he felt it in the spirit. Um, Dami doing another 360. I could have predicted that. Um, India's heart was definitely with him, she liked him, she had a better connection with him. Um, she only brought Deji in so she doesn't look foolish, and um, yeah, but I think she should go with her head as much as I wanted them to sort of be together and be the winners of Love Island 2022. Um, if the relationship isn't going to work on the outside, then what's the point? Um, and then Dami breaking things off with Summer. Yeah, definitely a good step in the correct direction. Um, I think he actually did like Summer. Um, and Summer actually liked him a lot more. And he definitely did hurt her feelings. Dami, he, he made the right call, I suppose, to stand for what, what he feels in his heart. Uh, India making things off with Deji as well. Um, I'm glad he got a straight answer out of her because um, she likes Dami and she should have just said that to be honest. 
Um, her saying she initially didn't go there to break things off. What else does she expect, to be honest? Um, yeah, she wants Dami and that's what she's going for. Um, Deji saying you should have had more self-respect for yourself. Word. Word. Um, but you can tell he's hurt that she played him. So, it is what it is, to be honest. Until it isn't. <laughs> um, Andrew kept making the same pitch to Tasha to take him back throughout the whole freaking episode and it was just getting annoying um josh and danica josh i knew this was coming i we could all see it uh friend zone and danica it's not surprising calling it off poor girl she thought there was something there and yeah i feel like you're gonna crack on to someone else in the villa i really don't know um i think you might crack on to the castle and more girls if they're still there um he clearly he wasn't feeling danica he played along for castle and more and now he's in the main villa he's cutting things off and it is what it is to be honest um hopefully someone the right person comes in there for her at this point i feel sorry for her um why is tasha crying again she literally has two options now uh she was cuddling in billy biting his ear well because andrew wasn't there he was sleeping outside um yeah it was it was a mess i was just like why is she doing all the stuff and then crying um do what you want to do it just stick by those actions don't cry about it afterwards um jacks is doing a lot um the whole tissue thing is kind of cute and all but why didn't you remember Paige and Kasama? <laughs> why are you only remembering her now that she's there as soon as she disappears again are you going to be moving on to girl and then doing this whole process again it's just long um luke is being too stressy it's obsessive it's possessive it's all too much um but um i can see the connection between billy and um Gemma. unfortunately for him i can see the connection between them and if he keeps doing this whole possessive thing and sort of telling her off it's gonna put her off him and she is gonna fall into billy's arms which is not what he wants so i think he needs to play it cooler tomorrow night look who is back um first of all i recognized him and i was like uh do i remember he's from love island 2018 adam it's about time they start recycling these love islanders that are single that didn't find love so i'm excited to see what trouble he will bring because he definitely brought a lot of trouble yeah in his season so i want to see what he's gonna do here so um i wonder who he's gonna go for it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough um so i'm definitely excited to see more uh thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos